A lot of questions been asked about the Nvidia Shield and what are my options as far as using this as a network attached storage. So today's video, I'm gonna show how to do that. We're also gonna do a couple speed tests just to see what read write speeds we're getting. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. So before we jump into the actual setup, here are a couple things that you might wanna consider when using a shield as a network attached storage. So one, you wanna make sure that your shield is attached via ethernet to your network. That will just give you better performance overall, guys. Definitely don't recommend doing this while you're connected to Wi-Fi. Two, I recommend that the shield that you're using is not the shield cone or the round nvidia shield from 2019 now try to get either the shield pro or the 2017 shield one of the standard nvidia shields with the usb ports it just makes life a lot easier in my opinion three you will need a hard drive uh, you will need either a solid state drive or a mechanical drive but I, I definitely recommend getting the ssd just to maximize those speeds and i'll go ahead and leave links in the description of this video and number four very important you want to make sure that your nvidia shield tv stays awake doesn't go to sleep and i'm going to show you how to do that as well so first thing we're going to do is plug in our hard drive or a usb drive into the nvidia shield tv all right so you will see this pop up guys i'm just going to go ahead and cancel out of this uh, we'll let that notification go away as well and notice that after you plug it in you will see that notification right there if you click on that it will bring you to the option to set it up but I'm gonna show you guys how to get to it a long way just in case the notification isn't there or it goes away or whatever the case is. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna to go to our settings. Gonna go down to device preferences. Gonna go down to storage. Now we're gonna see the drive that's connected to our shield. The drive that I just connected is a 500 gigabyte SSD and it's called Mojo 2. So click on that. You can see I have about 340 gigs available. So let me just back out. Option that you need to go ahead and turn on is transfer files over local network. Go ahead and click on that. Go ahead and turn it on. And now it's gonna automatically assign a username and a password. So from here guys, you can go in, you can change your username, you can do the same for the password, but I'm just gonna leave it as is for this setup but also keep in mind that you will need your ip address to get this mounted on whichever device you're trying to connect from so you will need all this information right here so definitely recommend taking a picture or making sure you have multiple screens open that way you can get to it once you move from this screen so the next thing we need to do on nvidia shield is make sure it doesn't go to sleep the best way a server is able to serve you is being available when you need it so to make your nvidia shield always awake you need to go to your settings you're gonna go down to device preferences you're gonna click on about you're gonna go all the way down till you see your build number so it should be the second to last option on this menu now what you want to do is click the ok button seven times and you should enable developer option so all right that's it guys developer option is now available now from here we're just going to back to the previous menu and if you go all the way to the bottom you're going to see developer option is now there click on that and where it says stay awake go ahead and turn it on and your nvidia shield is now ready to be used as a network attached storage so here we are on the pc and we just want to go ahead and map that network drive to this computer so to do that we're just going to right click on this pc we're going to go ahead and map network drive and you can go ahead and choose the drive let i'm just going to leave z in place so from here guys we want to put in the ip address but what we want to do is just put in the ip address as we see the example so we're going to hit backslash backslash 192.168.1.124 if you guys remember that was the ip address of my nvidia shield now while we on the ip addresses uh, another thing that you want to consider is just making this ip address static now this will require you going into your route and making sure that ip address is reserved for the nvidia shield so we have the ip address typed in we're going to hit browse and we're just going to go ahead and select on mojo 2 and of course that's the ssd that i have installed on my nvidia shield so i'm going to click ok and you do have a couple options here you can reconnect the sign and you can connect using different credentials but if you click finish and you prompt for the username and password it's the same username and password that was on your nvidia shield so if you connected before or previously it might not pop up but we'll see if it pops up for me 
so for me I already connected so it's right here and available but like I said if you're prompt for username and password it will be that username and password that you saw on your screen when you went ahead and enable access from your network so keep that in mind as well I have a couple things on here the main one we're gonna look at is a folder called content if I click on that, I have a couple movies in here, I have some music, I have some 4K videos, and um, best one to test on is the 4K video. So this is one of the drone videos that I've had for a while. So this is 4K at 60 frames per second, I believe. So you can see that's working pretty well. Um, I can go ahead and skip ahead. That's actually playing right now. And you can see it works with no issue, guys. Remember that is a 4K video. And no stoppages uh, this is playing this like a champ with no issues let me go ahead and just play another one this is another 4k video this is a sample video you guys probably seen this one before all right so like i said no issues there let me see if i can play both videos and right there you can see both videos are playing with no issues and both of 4k one's at 30 frames the other one is at 60 frames so if you guys haven't used crystal disc it basically uh you get to select what size file you want. It basically runs read and write speed tests and both sequential as well as random. And it kind of tells you what speeds you're getting. You can see I'm getting pretty good read and write speed. So like I said, you guys can look what these mean and I'll try to post a link for you. But essentially these are two sequentials. These are random read, write, and you can see that the scores are pretty decent. And copying a file directly from the drive over the network, you can see we're getting about 112 uh, megabytes per second downloads. So really good speeds in my opinion. Now, the only other thing I wanted to, to bring to your attention that you might have questions about is one, how do you access these drives off the network so for that i'm going to go ahead and reference a video i did showing you guys how to set up your own vpn in your house so i'll go ahead and link that in the top right and also if we go back over to the nvidia shield another thing that you might be interested in is actually connecting the shield to a network drive essentially doing the opposite that we're doing here so to do that you're going to go back to your settings you're going to go down to device preferences you're going to go to storage and you're going to go all the way down to mount network storage. So if you guys have a network attached storage that you want your NVIDIA shield to see, you can go ahead and set that up. I just click in there, it'll scan it. But if it doesn't show up right here, you can see it found one of my network attached storages right there. But if it doesn't show up, you can manually add it via the IP address and you can mount it that way. You will need a username and password, however. So that's it for this video. Like I said, if you guys own an NVIDIA shield, yes, it's great for streaming. Yes, it's good for gaming. Why not also utilize it as a network attached storage? So I'll leave links to the NVIDIA shield as well as the SSD that I use for this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.